Welcome back, coin enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into one of the most sought-after coins in U.S. history, the Walking Liberty Half Dollar. Specifically, we'll be discussing a key date that's highly prized by collectors, the 1917 Walking Liberty Half Dollar. From its stunning design to its fascinating mint mark varieties, this coin has a story that's worth every penny. Stick around as we explore the five different types of 1917 half dollars and their current market values. The Walking Liberty Half Dollar, designed by Adolf A. Weinman, is known for its breathtakingly patriotic imagery. On the obverse, you'll find Lady Liberty striding toward a rising sun, with branches of laurel and oak in her arms, symbolizing peace and strength. Above her, the word liberty arcs across the top, while In God We Trust is inscribed on the right. The reverse features a majestic eagle perched on a mountain ledge, with a young pine sapling sprouting below, a powerful representation of resilience. This design was ahead of its time and continues to captivate coin collectors today. The year 1917 is particularly interesting for the Walking Liberty series because the location of the mint mark was changed mid-year. Initially, the mint mark, whether from Denver D or San Francisco S, was placed on the obverse under the phrase, In God We Trust. However, after April of that year, the mint mark was moved to the reverse, beneath the pine sapling. This led to five distinct varieties of the 1917 half dollar. P, with no mint mark, D obverse, D reverse, S obverse, and S reverse. The Philadelphia Mint produced the 1917 half dollar without a mint mark, and around 12.3 million coins were struck. Due to their relatively high mintage, these coins are more accessible especially in lower mint state conditions. However, finding a gem like an MS-67 is exceedingly rare. In circulated conditions, the coin's value starts at around $40, while higher-grade uncirculated coins can range from $390 in MS-63 to a staggering $42,500 in MS-67. Denver struck two varieties of the 1917 half dollar, D obverse and D reverse. The D obverse had a lower mintage, around 765,400 coins, and is more common in mint state conditions due to hoarding. Even so, it's highly valuable. An MS 62D obverse half dollar is worth $1,250, while an MS 66, one of the finest, could fetch $52,500. The D reverse, minted after the mark change, saw a higher mintage but is surprisingly scarcer. Its value in MS-63 is around $3,000, and only one MS-67D reverse is known to exist, valued at $55,000. San Francisco also produced two varieties, S obverse and S reverse. The S obverse had the smallest mintage of fewer than 1 million coins and is highly prized today. Even in circulated condition, these coins are valued at $35. In mint state, MS-64 versions are worth $12,300, with MS-67 coins fetching an extraordinary $175,000. On the other hand, the S reverse variety had a much higher mintage but is still valuable, with circulated coins starting at $20 and uncirculated versions reaching up to $67,500 in the finest grades. The 1917 Walking Liberty Half Dollar is more than just a coin, it's a piece of American history. Whether it's the design, the story behind the mint mark shift, or the sheer rarity of some of its varieties, this coin remains a top choice for collectors worldwide. So the next time you come across one, be sure to check its mint mark and condition. You might be holding a small fortune in your hands.